Hey guys, today is Monday and um, it's kind of rainy and gross out, so I'm gonna venture out with my little one to, um, we're gonna go to Home Goods and try to hit Baby's R Us as well. Um, she's taking her morning nap, so right when she wakes up, I will feed her and head out. I'm sticking on some lashes just so that I feel human. I just thought I would vlog and get some videos out for you guys, let you know what's going on. So I just went back to work last week for the first time. I hate it. <laughs> it's really good to have some income for my family, but um, yeah, I absolutely hate it. I just, I just wanna be home with my baby all the time, and plus I'm a homebody anyway. <sighs> so yeah, I'm just kind of um, on my days off, spending time with Sydney and enjoying my time off. I have super chapped lips. Ugh, that's so annoying. Um, so I thought I'd probably throw in a couple of vlogs here and there letting you know what's going on with my daily life. I've been dying to go to Home Goods because I want some patio furniture and pillows and outdoor, I don't know, maybe one of those um, like side table garden vases or whatever you call them. So Home Goods usually has all kinds of cute um, garden vases. So that's why we're going there. Plus I just want to get out of the house a little bit and it's not that nice out so I don't feel like I'm wasting a day. So she is still sleeping, slowly kind of waking up. Hi, honey. Slowly waking up. So while she does, I will show you guys what I have packed for my um, baby bag. I just use a backpack here. I got it from Aldo at the mall. It just is super convenient, hands-free. Um, I don't know. While she doesn't have any food or bottles or anything like that, I just use this um, and it works out great. I just throw um, in there, I throw my wallet. I have this, an empty plastic bag for blowouts, and yes, I've needed it for when she has blowouts. I just put her soiled, dirty clothes in here, or if I can't throw away her diaper, then I will put it in there. I have this travel mat. Um, it's an Eddie Bauer travel mat. It just opens up, and it's a changing, um, a changing mat, sorry, and I'll put this on top of any of the public changing tables um, or in my car or anything, and it's come in handy. I've used it so many times. I don't want to put her just on the bare changing table. It just grosses me out, so I use that. Um, a burp cloth or receiving blanket for spit-ups or for covering me when I'm nursing if I am in public. And then I have this... Um, what is it? OXO, it's got my disposable wipes in there. This just pops open and all of my disposable wipes are in there. Loose diapers. Um, let's see, I have a change of clothes. This is just a onesie for blowouts. Yes, you always need a change of clothes. The only thing I don't have in there is, like, is a shirt for mommy, which I really should. Um, and then I just have, um, I got from the hospital some wipes, sanitizer wipes. And then I have, I haven't used these at all, but these are hand and face wipes from Johnson & Johnson. They've just been in my bag since the hospital. Mm, that's all that's in there. And then in the front part, I'm doing this one-handed here. In the front part, I keep a pacifier. She doesn't take a pacifier. She doesn't even know how to use it, but in an emergency situation, I can like hold it in her mouth while she chews on it a little bit to calm her down while we get out of the store if we need to. Um, and I have, let's see, I just have some moisturizer. She tends to get a lot of dry skin, so I just use the, I don't know, this is like a little travel size that I had of that. It works out pretty good. For mommy, I have some lip balm and um, lip gloss. And then I just have this little thing of Aquaphor Baby um, for diaper rashes or anything like that. It's just a little travel size. An emery board for her just in case she gets like a little hangnail or um, long nail that I notice. If we're traveling, I can just easily file it down with that. But that's pretty much all I have in my bag. Are you waking up, honey? Are you waking up? Hi, honey. I love you. We're going to go out today. Oh, you're so sleepy, aren't you? I think it's time to eat and then we can venture out and you can sleep in the car, okay, honey? She's been sleeping for, I don't know, she's been sleeping for a long time. It's almost been three hours since her last feeding. And I don't like to go more than three hours um, in the morning without her feeding, so she was kind of slow. <laughs> she was slowly waking up anyway, so I'm just kind of going to, Wake her up and then we'll get going in the car. She can sleep. Hey, can I get a venti iced coffee with extra ice? Um, classic 
sweetener and cream, please. Mmm, perfect. And I love, I have to have extra ice. On to Baby's Arrest. Okay, so we're in Baby's Arrest. Sydney is sleeping right now. And this little blanket in there. I'm looking for swaddles, those um, Love Me swaddles that you zip up. And I don't know where they are, so. Okay, so so far I have this little princess on board suction cup. I thought they were stupid at first. I didn't understand why people had them um, in their cars, but one of my friends said, um, if you ever get into a car accident, they'll look for the baby first. God forbid, oh my God. So I'm getting one of those. And then I'm getting one of these hooks to put on my stroller here, just so I can put some bags um, and things on there. And then I'm getting these car window shades because I've noticed that she's constantly squinting if the sun is in her eyes. So these just, I don't know, it's a set of two and they section to the window. So we'll see how those go. And of course they do not have the swaddles that I want. So I'm gonna have to order those online. And I think we're about to head out. The little girl's waking up. So I think we're gonna head out. Someone's doing good. And look at this. I think we need this. Daddy would love for her to have this. Oh my god, how cute. I'm looking for garden stools and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they don't have any options and usually they have a ton of cute options. Huh. I'm pretty sure the little girl just pooped, but I don't want to go to the bathroom yet and disturb her, so we're going to wait it out a minute or two. Because right now she's being okay. You stinker. You stinker. Literally, stinker. That is something that you're gonna need, right, honey? That's cool. And I love the blue, the turquoise. Hmm. Oop, I think I found one. This is something that I'm looking for, but can that go outside? Like, how do I know? I feel like it's gonna rust, but. That's what I'm looking for. It's just a little smaller. I need something bigger. Ooh, and I want one of these salt lamps too. It's 20 bucks. Hmm. Oh my god, I want so many things. I guess it's a good thing that I didn't get a cart, huh? I used to feel so awkward vlogging in public, but now I've kind of gotten used to it and I just vlog in like empty aisles. Super awkward and my baby girl's being so good. Oh my god. I don't have a lamp for her bedroom yet. I mean she's not even in her nursery. Light pink color. I mean I know it's not like kid like, but let's just face it. I'm, she's my kid. She's doing so good, little peanut. I feel like I have my whole life packed with me in order to go out nowadays. Okay, so semi-awkward thing that just happened. I went to go change Sydney's diaper, and then afterwards she was a tiny bit um, fussy because she didn't want to go back in the car seat. So I just held her for a minute, and then this lady came up to me and she goes, Oh my god, how beautiful, how old, blah, blah, blah. I asked all these questions. She was a little bit in my face, and I was holding Sydney, and Sydney was crying. So I was like, eh, Lady, like I'm trying to console my baby, and I gotta go. She goes, Can I hold her? I just felt a little awkward, like, who asks that? And then I felt awkward, like, what do I say? How do I, I mean, no, you can't hold her, but I don't wanna be rude. So she goes, are you comfortable with that? And she smelled like smoke. No offense to anyone who smells like smoke or smokes, but I just, I, she was a stranger. I'm not gonna have her hold my baby in the middle of a store. So I said, no, I'm sorry, like, she's fussy. And then I walked away and I felt like I just had to get out of there, but Sydney's fine now. She just doesn't want to be in the car seat and she needs a little bit of a nap, but I don't know. I just felt like it was awkward and yeah, I, I'm bringing a baby in public. I'm sure it's not going to be the first time it happens or the only time it happens, but I don't know. It was awkward. I felt uncomfortable. I just felt like I had to go and get my baby and get out of there. So needless to say, I did not get anything at Home Goods. Um, Sydney's changed and fed and just needs a little nap, so we might head home. Okay, so a very quick three month update. Sydney is now, um, as of tomorrow, she is 15 weeks old. Oh my God, it's going so fast. Um, okay, so where I think the last update I had was at seven weeks. 
So, um, a lot has happened since then. At nine weeks, she had her first smile, and now she smiles all the time, like really big smiles. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, um, then you don't know. She is officially into her zero to three month slash three month clothing. Three months is still a little bit too big, but we're on to that next group of clothing. Um, at her 10 week appointment, she was eight pounds, one ounce. So I think she's around 10 pounds now. They gain between like six and eight ounces a week, I think was the number that I saw online, which she seems to be doing very um, consistently. On Mother's Day, she rolled over for the first time. She rolled from her stomach to her back, and she does that on both sides, left and right. Pretty much every single time we put her on tummy time, she's rolling over, and I'm like, how are we gonna do tummy time? She's holding her head up pretty well. Um, she's in size one diapers. I'm doing this update just because I think a lot of moms, we, we want to make sure our kid, you know, our babies are on track um, with other babies and milestones. Every baby is different, but this is just where my baby's at at three months. And then she had her first laugh. Um, so she laughs. Like I literally have to like go in there and motorboat her and tickle her and like, you know, talk to her all weirdly and whatnot to get her to laugh. So I haven't really like caught a full on like laugh laugh. I did a little bit on Snapchat, but um, so she's beginning to laugh. She's been sleeping through the night since she was 10 and a half weeks. Um, so she sleeps on average about 11 to 12 hours a night, um, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm not sure if there was anything that I did in particular um, that helped her sleep through the night, but if you guys wanna know like our nighttime routine um, or what I what I do for a nighttime routine, I, like I said, I don't think it had anything to do with my like I didn't sleep train or anything like that. But we do have a nighttime routine every single night. Um, but she takes after her mom because I guess I was the same way as a baby. Um, but anyway, if you want to know our nighttime routine or kind of what I did for sleeping arrangements, um, let me know. I've had a couple of requests, but I don't want to do it if you know not a lot of people want to see it. She eats six times a day on average now. Um, so about three and a half to like three and three quarters amount um, of breast milk. That's what I leave for her in a bottle um, for when I'm at work. I'm trying to think. What else, sweet girl? She's getting fussy, so we're going to just cut this short. I'm still taking my prenatal vitamins. These are just chewy ones. Um, I couldn't swallow a pill while I was pregnant from my gag reflux. So I'm just finishing off these. I'll probably continue to um, take these as long as I'm breastfeeding. And these are for me, not for my baby, but just to make sure I have all the nutrients that I need um, in my body. I never showed these, I don't think, but these were the prenatals that I took. So they don't have any iron in them because they are chewables, so I did eventually have to take an iron supplement, but that was only for like mm, a couple of weeks, I think. A month, maybe? Probably a month. I don't think there's much else for her update, so we're going to cut it short because she needs to take a little nap. <laughs>